Hello, my name is Caitlin Pratt and I'm a community mental health worker with Ohio Guidestone. Today we're going to focus on how to implement PBIS in your home for virtual learning. You're probably thinking, what is PBIS? That's an acronym that stands for Positive Behavior Interventions and Supports. Teachers use PBIS in their classrooms to create respectful, responsible, and positive classrooms for their students to learn. PBIS helps keep their classroom running smoothly and helps students learn ahead of time what they're expected to do and how they should be behaving while they're at school. When we talk about supporting behavior at home, the first step is to teach your student the expectations for virtual learning. Explore what virtual learning should look like, sound like, feel like, and what they should be doing. If you have to, model these expectations for them. The second step is to frequently review these expectations with your student. Take a few minutes here and there to look back and reflect on your family's virtual learning expectations. This gives you and your student time to think about if anything needs changed or updated. It also leaves them fresh in the student's mind. Think about how many times the teacher has to review their classroom routines, line order, classroom rules, school rules, or other things with their class on a daily basis. The third and most important step is to praise your student. Tell them exactly what they're doing and why you like it. For example, I like the way you're sitting in your chair because I know that sitting still really helps you focus. Or another example, I liked the way you were taking notes and being a really good listener. Praise should be immediate and it should focus on a behavior that you want your student to continue doing. The fourth and final step for providing support is to reward. Reward your student for doing a good job or doing what they're supposed to be doing. Rewards can be anything that motivates them. Some kids like stickers, fun activities, family game nights, being able to pick out what they have for dinner, earning a small treat, or other possibilities. Uh, rewards are really endless for students. Um, some kids can even tell you what motivates them so you know that you're picking the right reward. The final thing we're going to talk about is what to do if your student is not responding to your positive behavior supports at home. First, acknowledge their feelings. They're allowed to feel upset, angry, sad, or have other emotions. These are unusual times and are especially stressful for children and students. Second, you're gonna give them a positive reminder about what they've done well in the past. For example, I noticed last week that you were able to complete all of your homework on time. I know that you're trying your best. Last, you're going to model what you want them to do or say. It's most important that you, their parent, be a good role model and show positive ways of coping with the current changes and interruptions to normal daily life. A few more helpful tips for implementing PBIS into your virtual learning from home would be to provide additional support by making a clear routine, something that kids can follow each day. So think about what a teacher creates for their classroom to follow. The kids in the classroom know that they have certain classes at certain times, they know when lunchtime is, they know when specials are, and they know when they're done for the day. This can help provide structure and support positive behavior because your student will be learning and organized. Um, another one is to create clear and concise expectations for learning times. Another one would be to create a special learning space for your student to use whenever they are virtual learning. And most importantly, the last one is to maintain a five to one ratio with five positive praise statements for every one correction or reprimand that you have to give. I encourage you to check out the other Ohio Guidestone videos for more ways to support your student and family through virtual learning.